Yeah, I'll look, uh, yes, y'all. Yeah, I mean, real talk. Um, I mean, I, I I could talk all night on this, so I'm gonna just do my best to summarize it. Uh, people that speak evil of this way, mm -hmm. their mind has to change. It, you still, your mind is still in the gutter, still in the world. Mm. Um, me and my wife was actually talking about this not too long ago. Uh, well, people' mindsets just truly hasn't changed, even if they own community. Man, right. I, we were hitting on what you was talking about was that? weeks ago. You talk about people, their own community, but they give didn't make room for them because y'all was so new at doing community. You see what I'm saying? And now what we could do is we could look back and we could say, it. "Boy, I tell you." That's but it. everything's 2020 hindsight. Yeah. You know. So at the end of the day, uh, yeah, I, the world. The more pastor he was in uh new orleans i remember and uh there was a young lady there and uh she was talking to me about how she had plans to go to school and things of that nature and i and she didn't know what she wanted to do and i said can i give you something she said uh she said yes yes sir you can i said you know what i realized was the higher i went in my education mm -hmm. the higher that uh the, the more i did in the world the more the world requires of me the man is how yes it, it, it the, the, the more the world's going to require of my time, my energy, and my effort uh, and everything. So I chose actually to stop investing in worldly things and mm -hmm. I began to more so invest in the kingdom is what I was more focused on. And I noticed as uh, I continued to go to school for longer periods of time, my grades began to dip. The more ingrained I got into the book, mm -hmm. the more I got ingrained into the word, the more I was beginning to change my mind, to change my heart, to change my ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. uh, as time continued to go on, these things, it, I just didn't care about no more. So uh, I leave. I had a nice office, real nice office. Yeah. Had me a nice little ergonomic desk. I would hit a button and go up and down. Man. You know, I had... You know, free coffee. I had free food, free free snacks. Did you have anybody bring you donuts in the morning too? Oh yeah, they would bring donuts all the time. Ooh, look at here. The company would pay for the company pay for all our trips. So I had a it. fuel card. I had company vehicle. I remember you went to Germany one time. Yeah, I went to Germany. Went to Austria. Went to the UK. Ooh. Went to a place called Liechtenstein. I traveled all over the United States. And how much of that that you was doing was for the work of the kingdom? None. Zero. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing. Zero. You see what I'm saying? But it, it, this all was enjoyable to my flesh. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you living high on the hall. Yeah, man. I'm, you, I'm you, just. You done made it. Yeah, I'm. I'm right. I'm very. And you know, I had the young bloods. This is a good question I had this this week. A, a young brother wanted to know, and Pastor, maybe you can talk about this in a little bit. But uh, if we can stay on track with it yeah but uh a young man asked uh on our platform he talked about being financially stable right you, or you know how many times you speak about men marrying wives or taking on women or paying a bride price or maybe mm -hmm. just taking on a wife in general or men that's trying to go to polygyny right mm -hmm. and you talk about being able to be able to foot the bill to be able to take care of a home like that and so i was doing my best to let him know Hey, or he wants to know how did I do it? And I said to my, I said to him, and I told, told all the young brothers, when I came up, it was different now, way mm -hmm. different now. I mean, mm -hmm. back then the push was go get an education, go to school, get a degree, go get a job. You see what I'm saying? And now, and now you're a fool if you do that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would not tell anybody to do, do that whatsoever at all. Not at all. Um, Matter of fact, the more well-off people start businesses, and that's what we just been talking about. You know, people doing that, but not to get too far off topic, though. Uh, we all came together under one roof. Literally, I'll, I'll just tell you the short and skinny. I listen very closely to a pastor's words. I listen to the message that's being brought forth behind a pulpit, but I really listen to the exhortation. I listen to after the message. I listen to in between the message when. It may seem like for, for you all, he's going off, right? Because he's mm -hmm. trying to keep y'all's attention. He has my attention the whole time. We got grown-ass men in this ministry that fall asleep during messages. That. At home at home fellowships, you know, on communities. Well, this is what we got. Book talk about the spirit of yeah, slumber. Straight but up. let you know and then let yeah. me know who they really oh, oh, are. Oh, I know. I see. And their motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, how now. Do you do, how you fall asleep when I'm preaching? Once again. Damn. You got, you got men like me. We're up to I don't know how late. 
on Friday night. I mean, we're talking because we got to talk about things that, uh, uh, throughout the week. The men, we're speaking. We're talking. We're in the book. We're in the word. Uh, I'm speaking to them. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this is what is going on. And so I go to sleep late. But yet I can get up along with some of the other brethren with me and we got no problems hearing this book, hearing this word. You see what I'm saying? But I'm listening very closely to what he's saying. All right. And none of it's boring to me. He don't need to wake me up. I'm all, I'm engaged fully the whole time. But Do you still hold your thoughts? Yes, sir. And wherever your treasure is. So we are. We that's where your heart be also. Go ahead. That's it. So, but I listen very closely. All right. And so the short and skinny on this is I listen to the shepherd story mm. with teacher Shane mm. hanging up sheets in, 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 in a house and separating quarter and off. And th you see, I heard these things and, Real talk, and, 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 you know, and I, and I said this many, many years ago, but I had a, I had Hispanics that I grew up around, you know, I was in Texas. And so we would see them and they stack up like sardines up in the house and they'd be bringing over brothers and sisters over the border and they would just continue to expand and buy lands and buy cars and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I heard Pastor Story and I said, you know, ain't nothing stopping us from doing that. And it wasn't too long before, well, we began to pretty much mimic the same behavior. And for a long time, I used to always say this. I felt like, man, we moved too slow. Or, oh, man, we moved too fast. Yeah. And the day I realized I did not move too fast or too slow was when I was with Michael Israel and I was doing that interview with him. And I began to realize and I began mm -hmm. to break down the years, you know, that we did things in. And we had to go through a trying time from 2011 to, I would say, 2013 or yeah. so. Uh, 2014 we went through a trying time because we were all excited everybody was coming on in it was every every six day every every block talk pass it you know taking calls and we glory to the king hallelujah we are uh, we are mm -hmm. up in the background you know praising all this and that right and then all of a sudden here comes the test Pe yeah. people begin to fall away yeah people begin added and then next thing you know we got replacement players if you will yeah and that, that, that took their place and then they see, you know, we're able to have a clear vision and move forward. And then we moved up, stacked up like sardines. And that was hard. That was difficult because now I'm learning to be a leader, but I'm living with people. It's different whenever I'm leaving my own little abode. Hey. I go on the job. But well, guess what? You you now really, truly know what David said in the scripture when he says iron sharpener. Oh, iron. yeah. Oh, yeah. Iron people don't know iron. what iron sharpener is. They, they, all they know is know how to praise y'all and separate. They don't know what yeah. the, they don't know what the test is, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no. It ain't no. It, it, no, you don't get it. Come on. See, it's, <laughs> see, I've always been a really good leader in the world since. I was a good supervisor. I was a mm -hmm. good manager. I was a good superintendent. I was all these things I was really good at. But then having to deal with the women. Woo! Having to deal with families, Woo. having to deal with children. Mm. See, all these things were new. And, and then the women that manipulate the husbands oh, and try man. to actually uh, lead through their man and, as the head. It's terrible. And they, and, you know, the neck that turns the head. Oh, it's terrible. They try it's to terrible. manipulate it, and these men try to come to you as if it's them, but you can hear the voice mm -hmm. of that skirt. Yeah, yeah, real talk, real talk. No, you ain't lying on that. Man, I don't even want to divert, but let me tell y'all something about that. I got. <laughs> Hey man, you know I'm being attacking this, but I'm hey, telling the truth. All, all she gotta do is squeal. All she gotta do is squeal a little bit, but he come running. Yeah. That's it. We had. I, 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 I tell you, concern. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no concern. She just came to you and told you some shit. So, <laughs> and all she gotta do is tell you something, and here you come. So, every single time, and you can't catch on to it, you know. And everything she says is gospel truth, but I'm there as a man. I'm telling you, this is what I saw. And this is what I see. I ain't lying to you. You're going to have to really figure out, you know, yeah. the vein which, uh, I, and this is why I tell some of the brothers, uh, do we, we can give our, our women instruction all day long. Yeah. But how's their administration? Yeah. In carrying out what we give them to do. You see what I'm saying? How we teach them, how we instruct them. You know what I mean? Uh, man, I don't want to stand on this, but I'm going to tell y'all something. All right, I had a brother some time ago. This I'm back in Houston. I ain't even on the land yet, but we're we're coming together and we're getting things right mm -hmm. to in order to go to some land. And uh, they no longer around. Dad, remember Dez and Shanietta? Remember them? I remember them. Oh man, I remember them. So, Shan, I'm I, you know I can I can look at I could discern women. Mm -hmm. You know I'm looking. I'm like, all right, man. She's pretty strong. You know, 
but he kind of weak. Yeah. You know, spirit. Now, he's a good, strong brother physically, you know, but I could see the spirit. You could see her spirit was stronger than his. All right? And so we get back to my place after Sabbath or whatever, and uh, me and his brother done had a talk maybe two days earlier. And mind you, he just wants advice. Mm -hmm. All right, give him advice. Well, I said, I look over at her, and I'm like, well, and I see she's watching. Talk, she watching. She watching him talk to me, and I'm like, hey. I done told ass leave the room. Yeah. Well, we, we it's open. That's real we, talk. Oh, Sabbath. Okay, it's Sabbath. You. you know, it's, but I can see, I can see her across the the, the way, watching. That spirit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I feel her. I feel her watching us, but I can see her watching us. And I said to myself, all right. So I kind of told him what to do. Like, hey, man, listen, wait till you get home, X, Y, Z. Well, he jumps the gun, and he's. He say something like within the next day or so. Uh oh. <laughs> so it's maybe first day, Sabbath or whatever, and she, we're in my apartment. And she looks over at me and she, I'm, I'm looking at him, and she said, "Hey, can I talk to you?" And I'm like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute." Can I talk she, to you? She? Yeah. That's her husband right there. Her husband right there. But she wants to talk to you. She wants to have a word oh, that's with broke. me. Yeah. <laughs> that's broke. Yeah. That's broke shit right there. But go ahead. There. That's dang. All right. Boy. She want to have a word with me. And uh, the brother said, "I look over at the man, and he he did like this, like 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 yeah, like like go ahead." I'm like, "All right." So my balcony's right here, so I'm I make sure the blinds is open. We we'll go. I'm like, I'm gonna go out. All right, so I'm make sure you see this. So I go outside, and she literally said, "I appreciate you for talking to my man." Basically, getting him right. Anyway, I'm gonna hold my result. Go ahead, Ellen. Thank you for talking to him. Thank you for instructing. Do whatever, whatever. I can't remember. It's so long ago. But she was basically thanking me for going to him. Mm -hmm. And and she said, I knew it wasn't him talking. I knew it was him. Well, you starting something here tonight, boy. This is above their pay grade. Hey, hey. Right here, man. He don't talk like that. Hey man, hey. hey, I don't know. That's rough. She said he don't talk like that. Isn't that so something? she knew, like you damn astro projecting. Yeah, something? she he don't talk like that. You know what I mean? That's so any, she familiar with that? Yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna leave that story alone. But <laughs> part, <laughs> part of this Ahab, part of this Ahab Jezebel thing, Ooh. you know. <laughs> When you iron sharp and iron, you see stuff like this. Jeez. <laughs> as you get to know saints, all right, and as you get to know people, and you you your iron sharper and iron, you begin to see this stuff. Mm. And then you you know as as a leader, I got I got I have to start to learn to operate around this nonsense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I got to yeah. start operating out. You know, I don't even be want to talk directly to the woman like that. But man, you, you make it like that. It's like. You giving her free free liberty for her to come all up in my face? Yeah, you know, but you also just... put her in jeopardy, too. Yeah. Because, she, I mean, she going to come in and protest a man yeah. and try to speak as a man. Yeah. Man, she, man, she ain't ready for that. A, a woman, well, yeah, there ain't man. no woman in this world can, can can handle a man spirit. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, though. so, iron sharp and iron. We learn each other. Mind you, I'm making six figures, Greg. Six, I mean, we, me and Greg, Deacon man making bread. I mean, we getting it in in Houston. So I said, man, you know what? We're going to have to. Nigel, we're thinking about the people. We're not thinking about ourselves. Right. We go out there. We right. sacrifice time, energy, and effort. We're tenting out. Mm -hmm. It's cold. Mm -hmm. It's rainy. And we camping out every single night. Look, Waking up early in the morning, looking for land. Hardly mm -hmm. eating breakfast. And we're walking 80 acres. We're walking 150 acres. 100, 85, Sound whatever. like y'all chewing the same dirt I chew. Yeah, I mean, it was day in, day out, getting it in. And we saved over six figures in 10 months. Just, boom, just getting after it. And sometimes I wish we would have kept saving more. Yeah. You know, when I look, 2020 hindsight. That's water, isn't it? Oh, that, that, it's, this is all the stuff I give to Ron and Steve. They be eating it up. But uh, I tell them, I tell them to keep going. They just they laugh wise. at me. They wise. Man, they laughing at me. Is what they doing? You saw the video I made with them? I, oh, I've seen some of it. They always yeah. coming up there. But this is the stuff they but eat they up. They wise though. Yeah, they should. They wise young men because they're paying attention to to um, uh, the people who have been there and yeah. done that. Mm -hmm. and they're not, not trying to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I told they know them that there ain't nothing new under the sun. Yeah, and you have the experience. Yeah, straight up. And so, uh, mind you, so. 
when people live with, with lived with me, me, Greg, Deacon, what we did is we took all our resources and the brothers that gave money in each home. We had like three, four different homes. They all gave the money to each one of us. The brothers, if the funds funds found its way to my hands, like the book say in the book of Acts two to, uh, four, mm -hmm. uh, no one called which they possessed their own. You know, any item. You see what I'm saying? It, everything belonged to all, and we began to we saved up all this money, started looking for land. I'm telling you, it was we had to sacrifice a lot of time, energy, and effort looking for these lands. Finally found it. The very next year, we were able to put Deacon on it. Right? And no, it, you mean tell me, yeah, come on, you the head of the community, you didn't move on there? I should have. I mean, <laughs> but no, I moved another man there, another faithful brother mm, there. Faithful uh, brother. It, very faithful. Uh, Deacon Gorman and his wife, his family are, they were, they've always been very hard workers. They were always been very hard workers. They're laborers is and, what they and are. Let's just go ahead and, and tell the truth. Listen, people, listen real close. Because we have faithful brothers. And their families with us and stuff. We all still got to go through the grind. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything ain't always hunker glory and peaches. It ain't always peaches mm -mm. and cream, man. We, man, we got to deal with correction, oh yeah, rebuke, instruction, frustrations. Mm -hmm. and we got to grow in this. Yeah, and not only that, we've had to have very uncomfortable conversations. Yeah. However. It ain't uncomfortable no more. It's just, we just talk now. Cause Straight we, up. Because we became family. You know we, the reason why? Because you know that y'all not out to destroy yes, each other. And it's, woo, we, on, we have on one goal. Mm -hmm. One exactly. goal. Exactly. We're, we're trying to get to an expected end. end. Period. Ain't nothing yeah. to do with personal. Nope. No. There's nothing personal. No. It's all business and kingdom business. That's one it. Vision. And we're trying to get this thing yeah. done. So we, we can't get it done if it's going to be a hindrance in the spirit here, here, and here. Exactly. We have to address this. Yes, we do. And so now we just speak as family. But every single person on the land that I live with, we've had uncomfortable conversations. But now it's no longer uncomfortable. We literally just speak now. And we get over it in five minutes. And we just back to saying, hey, man, brother, uh, you going to ro roll me on the backside right now? We're about yeah, to go. you don't sit up there and, and fester mm -hmm. in that shit. No, talk no. About, man, let this stuff grow like cancer. Don't, man, we got business to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. And so, go ahead, hell, it's good. So, you doing good. Yeah, but, but to fast forward, we moved Deacon out there, right? And mind you, me, Greg, we're still back getting it in along with the other brethren. We were saving up money. I'm talking, man, I'm sending Deacon $4,000 this week, 2000 next week, 1000 this week. We're back up to 5000 next week. I mean, it was just thousands of dollars just going out. And it's going each like water. Week. Each week, it's just going, 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 <laughs> yeah. going. You know, we talk. We bought the land. Then we had to save up. We bought that diesel truck. Cause you, yeah. Because Powell's wood pastor, after we looked at the land, and he said, don't you see these hills around here? I was like, yes, sir. He said, you need a diesel. I said, I'm going to get a diesel. <laughs> so we went out and bought a diesel. Um we got we saved up, bought a mo that mobile home, that first yeah. one. We saved up and we got the septic in yeah. and, and the road in. Uh, we saved up some more and we moved Deke out and we kept saving and we just and kept everything's giving everything paid for as everything, we go. Every single thing. The that borrower we do. is a servant to the lender. To the lender. That's it. And, and so we ain't serving nobody but y'all. So we ain't, we ain't no damn servant to nobody. Mm -mm. Nope. And so, and once Deke got up here, the very next year, I, well, at the same time, I moved. Pops out here, then moved T out here. We had already moved Chris and Christian out here yep. before us, right? So they can have a job, so they can support Deacon when he gets here. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. And then I moved out here with Desmond, and I kept working for a short period of time. But then what you begin to see is now elders there on the land, and now the vision can truly go forth. All right, even though I had a man there to get it in, now I'm there. Now we're able to push forward, not as an iron sharpened iron. So, because I got to figure out the area i gotta mm -hmm. get to know the people i gotta mm -hmm. get to know uh, where we get certain things from hey, who to make friends do with y'all do the same thing we do what's that um I, i'm sure y'all do it but i'm just gonna go ahead and put this in there because we're on this broadcast you still got your thought right yeah um we live in redneckville oh yeah man yeah and so we use our pale faces around here to, to get things done yeah we had to early yeah. on and stuff too yeah and that's why big was the first one <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> He know it. We, we had the neighbor come down the hill. He's a cattle farmer or whatever, yeah. but he got a lot of money. And he lost his dog or whatever. So he comes down looking for a dog. He sees me. Me and him have a conversation. He leaves. He comes back later on. We tell him his dog's down. He comes pick his dog up. I'm over here trying to talk to the guy and engage the conversation. My dick ain't really saying much to him. He says, yeah, come see me sometime. And he drove off and Dick said, 
And I'm looking at him. And I said, he ain't talking to me. He said, I know. Yeah, yeah. Go Deke, through Deke, sometime. Deke clearly knows that he's speaking to him. Shoot, man. Me and Elder Doug had some conversations and stuff like that. It's crazy because, you know, when we would do stuff like that, yeah. uh, I would take the back seat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then let Elder Doug control the conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. No, you know we, I mean? we, we tried to do the same thing. <laughs> we, we tried. That was just a feel, a feel out. Yeah. You know, and it was okay. We see what it is. You know. So now I told Daniel he needs, he need a pale face. I told him you need a pale yeah, man. Daniel, I said, yeah, you need a, you he, need a pale face man. Yeah, he probably need two or something. You know what I mean? But you got too many Negroes. <laughs> yeah, too many. Y'all need some. Y'all need some color, not no Milky Ways. Y'all need some color. Them some darkness. Y'all need some non color. Yeah, straight up. Them, them some midnight. Midnight. Some we black, see blue black brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight up. So they got they got Y'all frog man. Redneck Bill too. Frog man, man. That, that's a black. That's man, it. Man. Yeah, I know, but he still. Everybody can see him. He a black man. He ain't passing for no damn. No, no, white no. Boat, I'm not. Man. I'm not saying that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You need a you need a white boy, a white man, a white woman. You need yeah. a white family up there for wisdom. Yeah, straight up. Cause they 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 they, they, don't, they look right past that nonsense. You know, if you send them. Oh yeah. But anyway. So we up there, and uh, now I'm able to kind of really figure things out in the direction. We all know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out the direction we're going to go. And so now, you talking about me and Deke, that first year I was out there <laughs> building, man. Uh, there's a lot of work that went in. You got to understand, we didn't have backhoes. I had the backhoe right here. You can say that again. Me, you can hit us too, man. Yeah, yeah. This is you can hit us too. It's the backhoe. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so you talking God, about man. putting in all these fence posts, putting in these gates. <laughs> Uh, you talk about digging trenches, setting up uh, raised bed gardens. You talking about doing extension, finishing up the shed, uh, all that stuff. I mean, man, we was getting after it, man. Straight up, we was getting after it. Without I mean, a vision of people perish. Straight up, and so me and Deacon up sun up to sun down. You you feel me? We that sounds sun, just like us. Don't sun up to sun. I'm talking. I mean. You know, teacher Shane then would get off and work. I remember they said wouldn't that. even eat that dinner. We got a few brothers like this. Man, they would get off and work. Man, they play be sitting there and they would go change their work clothes, get in their work clothes for the land, and they wouldn't eat many times till like eight, nine o'clock at night. We got, we got, we got a few brothers like that. Not all our brothers are that way. And you know what pisses me off more than anything? Like the people that's young, uh, the people that's just coming into this. Oh yeah. And you can tell them this, but they don't have. I'm gonna use this phrase right. Here. No respect yeah. for the offering. Yeah, real Because talk. they damn spoil right. this shit. That's why we need to stay in the ass. You're right. You're right. And, and I like when you said, don't take away all the work. You there know you what I mean? Don't, don't take, take the work out of everything. There you go. We had a tractor. We got a tractor on the land. That's we, a good one, too. You seen that tractor? Yeah, a nice yeah. tractor. We, we had the brothers dig a six foot hole maybe two weeks ago <laughs> for the outhouse. <laughs> hey, hey, we got a job for y'all. Had four of them over. They taking turns. Digger bars, everything. Shelves, mm. they up in there. But they got it done, though. And guess what? I told them, I said, hey, we're going to get a well done, and the guy said we got to have it 100 feet from the septic, so that's going to have to move. So we're going to fill that back in. There you go. And guess what's going to happen? You They're going to the do spirit. it by hand. There you go. You're trying to stay. They're going to do it by hand. They're going to do it by hand. That tractor going to say it's parked up. That's what's going to happen. And they're going to fill it back in. Then they're going to move it by hand. That's right. So. Real talk. There's something to that. So I'm getting something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm getting something. You better something. believe that. That's yeah. something speaking. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So. So. <laughs> We, me and Dick, the first year we was sun up to sun down. The hardest thing I done on that land that first year was hanging drywall on the ceiling. And me and him worked all day. I honestly just limp. I mean, Dick, the last sheet we got to, man, he threw that thing on me, man. I'm just like, man, you all right? And I kind of looked back. I mean, it was so bad. I had a screw in my mouth and I kind of threw my arm up like this yeah. and I kind of threw it up there and I got that last screw and I'm like, we done. Yeah. I mean, but the fence takes the cake. The gate. Oh, yeah. The post. Dirt work. Now, we, we dirt workers. But the idea is we're carving out a living and we have a vision and we got an expected end. We go, we know we got more people coming. And so it's not about me. It's not about just my family. It's not about just Deacon's family. It's not just about mm-hmm. Desmond or Terrence. It's, I, we're focusing on all the other families. Is what and we're looking the at. generations that's coming exactly. behind us. Because I promise you one thing. Yeah, the work, pretty much the infrastructure and the work is going to be done, but our children is not going to grow up spoiled as shit. No, no, no. They're going to get their ass dirty, too. They're going to get out there in this dirt. They're going to learn from a very young mm-hmm. age mm-hmm. duty and responsibility mm-hmm. 
honor and strengthen. Honor. They're going to learn all of that. I promise yeah. you will. Because the stuff ain't going to be handed over to them without responsibility. And then we're going to watch them mm -hmm. and discern their character. That's it. To see who's coming up next, who's going to be the next leader. The responsible. There you go. Yeah, because on, right now, we already we got all these young little boys we got right mm -hmm. now. They be out there while we working. They be playing in the dirt. Y'all see our videos. They be out there with concrete But that's what they want to do. They be sitting yeah. there and be wanting to be chomping at the bit. Yeah, yeah they want to help. We get them little shovels. We get them little... Little scoopers and stuff, and they be out there all up in the dirt and everything. Jonathan, he yells at me uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. Bobby! I'm like, what? I want to work. Yeah! That's exactly what he say. I want to work. That's right, man. I'm like, all right, man. So I, <laughs> I just find something to do. I take some scrap wood, I, 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 I screw it into the floor, and I start some nails for him. Go and ahead. I, and I give him a hammer. I say, knock all these nails in. I walk away. Every one of them. And he be over there wearing himself out, just D getting it done. I say, just take a break if you get tired. Yeah. He don't take no breaks. He just switch arms. Good job, Elder. He switch arms. He switch job. arms. He goes to the other one. I'm just like, I just look at him. Like, a, lot mm -hmm. too, a lot of people, they hold these babies back, man, because they want to treat them as babies. And you got to keep up with their mind. You got to keep up with their attention. You got to keep up with yeah. what they are learning. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yep, man, they pick up real, real quick. So I put them in the tractor with me. Hey. I put them I put them on my lap when I work in the back hole. I, you know, when I'm driving around. So and he watching put, everything. Yeah, and I put him in there, and he grabbed the controls. And it's like, bro, you're going to mess me up right, right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting to the corner, and I'm there like, you, go. you got to get off here. Yeah, yeah. If I'm, in, I'm going in the line, it's all right. I'm digging yeah. a trench. I'm good. Get to the corner, you got to get off. There you go. You know, stuff like that. So it's iron sharpen iron. It's teaching the young ones. It's it's the worth ethic. And we're not living right now. We're at a very pivotal time in our community because right now we're at a, at a spot where we're truly trying to spread out. You want to hear something? Yes, sir. You know that his car already he's 13 months old. Mm -hmm. He know how to start a vehicle and stop it. Hallelujah. And he know how to put it in gear. That's what's up. I kid you. I'm Often not just sitting you. on the lap and just watching. I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. You ask anybody. I'm sure. Ask, ask him about his family. He first he looks at, eh, he can't talk yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But he knows how to start. They started the vehicle when we went to music practice. Mm. Every day yeah. watching. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead, Elder. Yes, sir. But uh, so all these things we're doing, right? And so now we just got, I, I got a video coming. I got the band back together because Brother Greg and them finally moved up here. So 2015, we all started living together. Saved up all that money. We bought land in 2016. And then 2017, we had boots on the ground with Deke. And then 2018, I got up here. 2019, I started a trucking business. Yep. All right. And mind you. Just rolling. Did I want to start a just trucking rolling. business? <laughs> Hell to the no. I didn't want to start a trucking business. Hell no, I didn't want to start a damn trucking <laughs> you know, business. But you I, heard me. Yes. 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 I, but I know this. I, mean. I know that it, there's no way I can make the amount of money that I made in Houston, Texas, out here in the country. Ain't Can't no way. It. Can't do it. So I need something to replace that income. Yeah. And so I literally removed myself off the community. And, and let me say something for a second. And then we got faithful brothers like uh, Josiah. Elliot. And Jason. Elliot. And Jet Man, them brothers. Kenny. They are Ken Eric. Uh, Kenny. Uh, we tell, see, yeah. What everybody don't see is the brothers that's behind the scene. You see us on videos. Oh, yeah. But you don't see them brothers behind the scene grinding Come on. night and day. Mm -hmm. I mean, driving them rigs, them big old 18-wheelers, yeah. up and down with thousands of miles. Yeah. yeah. Turning in paychecks and everything yeah. and stuff in order to keep this. Because we're joined together in one heart. Yeah. Mm. One body. One. One mind. Yes. Spirit. One soul mm -hmm. and one spirit. Period. I mean, I mean man, it... it they without us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could not be made perfect. That's right. We don't do this by ourselves. And But y'all just see us. But somebody got to be the front man where you see everything. But man, there is some unsung heroes. Yeah, there are. And if I'm, I can use that. No, phrase. I'm getting to that too. They there. Yeah, because he made the statement of getting CDL, but I didn't care about getting no damn CDL. So I ain't getting one, but I got one now. <laughs> so, but, you know, w when I looked out, I saw... You remember that years or, no, it was years ago, I, I actually um, had everybody out here in front of the old dining hall. Yes. Go yes, ahead. you were speaking on it. And he talked about y'all all got there and get CDLs and be independent and no one control your schedule and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay. So, I'm thinking like, yeah, I hear you, but it, not it me. can't, however, yeah, not me, hell no, not me, because I got, I got a nice career, so, but the idea is, you have, um, we have to do a business, I took it further, because, I, you know, I thought about it, just getting a CDL is not going to do it, you get a CDL, but really what Pastor meant to say was, y'all need to be owner-operators, there you go, you know, because the owner-operator, you are your business, right, because you work for yourself, so I said, well, 
because we're a community, we could just start a small trucking company. That's exactly what we did. So I did that in 2019. And I was literally gone from the community. So the community really didn't, the only thing we did in 2019 was, I think Deacon just kind of was the handyman of the community. He made sure it functioned right, but I was hardly ever there. I was hardly on the community ever. I was out driving trucks. I was out dispatching. I was out getting, building the business up is what I was doing. And I was uh, taking my lumps and learning and taking L's, lessons, uh, or what you would call losses. And, um, and But it was iron sharp and iron for me even in that, but it took a lot of time, energy, and effort. So I can't, I can't put up with a lot of bitching, murmuring, and complaining from brothers. I just can't do it because you're very short-minded. And I talked to the young brothers about this. You're bit, I mean, you don't got no foresight if you can't see what it's going to take in the short term. You can't be short-sighted with this. You got to be able to see the vision in the distance. I mean, look at you, Teacher Shane. All these years, you worked at Walmart, but now look at you. You ain't even working there no more. Are you, now you're really, truly enjoying the benefits of all the labors. Yes. Through all these years, you're here. Elder Becker, just Elder uh, Rufus just talked about you having a rekindling, a new fire about yourself. And I told him, I bet it got something to do with him being off that damn job. You better believe it. You see what I'm saying? So, Man, but, bro, Shane been fixing every damn yeah, thing around yeah. here. Man, I'm telling you, you know what's the sad part about it is because, you know, bro, Shane been with me from the very beginning, mm -hmm. right? And it, it's disheartening for him to have to come here and to see all this. We got good equipment. I know you do. He re, he rebuked. I told you. He hey. had, I saw him rebuking, brother. I saw him rebuking. He need rebuking. He's staying in the ass. I keep telling How many times I tell you, you get friends rebuking. Even though I don't even know him, bro, I said, just give me some names. Yeah. And he don't say nothing. He just, because he's taking care of it yeah. himself. I'll be in the dining hall. Just give me some names, man. I'll be on the ass, man, because... He has come. He come in and fix every damn thing. Well, cause he fix got that every damn. He got thing. that same heart from the from when you guys first got here. You see what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and I think that's what it takes sometimes. So people that come up with you, they're gonna see this. They're gonna feel it just as well as you. You see, they're gonna have yeah. the oh, same yeah. pain. Got teeth in the game. Exactly. Hell and when they see these, the that's why Oops. when they see these young, well, I'm not gonna say young punks, but mm -hmm. when they see these young crew, I don't call them young punks. <laughs> Hallelujah, young punks. Damn dick but weeds. anyway. <laughs> You, you, you guys that had just uh, Johnny come lately mm. to the game. You see, you come here. These are the ones that made the sacrifice for this thing to be get Woo. built up. You see what I'm saying? I said this before, and I still maintain this because. You know see, what's sad, though? What's that? I can take me, Elder Doug, Brother Shane, and Dick and Bell. I'm sure. And we can still run circles out of this damn next generation. Hallelujah. That's murmuring, complaining, dragging shit down, and don't want to do shit. Yeah, yeah. That's pissing me off. So when I come up and I see the way y'all working, mm -hmm. getting it done, man, that, you know what it does us. Not oh, Come on, you see fruit? Yeah. Yes. Come on, man. You want to go dung that and, damn tree and make it go grow yes. even more so? Yes. And we learned it from y'all. See, we came here man. and we said, we if I don't see no fruit, yeah. you ain't going to see me at your place. Yeah, I know you. I ain't mean. coming. Yeah. I am not coming if i don't see no damn fruit no. yeah so so but but you see what i'm saying uh, i mean at the end of the day you know i'm trying to lose my thought here all right uh so we did the trucking business and now we got faithful brothers like josiah i mean man he was kind of whipping post for a minute because he was out there the longest and yes. the brother don't want to say nothing right he just gonna suffer quietly and you I know stop this shit. Speak up. Oh, 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 I, I, oh. we've had some really good hearts to hearts, but good. I'm very, Josiah, whether you know it or not, we're very close. I know. We're very close. We may not have a lot of conversations with them, but we're very close. And all these brothers out there know all they got to do is call me. Yeah. All they, all, they, all they got to say is, I want to come home. I will get them home. See, but when yeah. the righteous are in authority, yeah. the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. But when the wicked bear rule, yeah. the people mourn. Man, don't I that had, sound for me? Sound Pastor, like scripture, don't it? Pass. I give these brothers the trucks. They got credit cards. They got fuel cards. We talking about stuff that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. That, now. They got. They We're got. No chicken feed. I say, hey, we'll, <laughs> I say, what phone you want? I want the iPhone 12 Max Plus. Okay, go Good, ahead, you got get it. it. Uh, how many gigs you want? 256. Okay, you got cool, it. get it. Hey, what phone you want? I oh, just give me. Okay, cool, you got it. You got it. You want an Android? You want a uh, 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 a tablet? Or, or, or I, what they call yeah. it, iPad. iPad. Two or more on iPads. So you I got, got them iPads. 
One on one with iPhone, he got an iPhone. The other mm-hmm. two wanted an Android, they got it. You, got you it. see what I'm saying? You got, it. you got everything you need. Tell me what you need to be successful out there so we can work as a world old machine so we can keep this thing rolling. Right. Because we need y'all. Man, I, I'm gonna go ahead. Can I, can I brag on Brother Elliot no, real go quick? Go ahead, man. Brother Elliot, man. Mick Top. Man. Mick Top came brother. to the middle. <laughs> man, this brother is. He's like, I ain't never seen no shit like this. No, no. <laughs> But I'm going to say this, but this is the kind of heart I be looking for, man. I mean, you... Oh, and, and, and I, I know what you're getting ready to say, too. Listen. You talking about Brother Elliot? Yes. No, I know what you're getting I'm ready to talk, say right man, now. Man, you got to have a heart like this, That's brother, focus man. That's right there. I mean, That's you, you, you got to right have a heart you like this. you know what? Most I'm going to reward him, Man, too. I, I want him to. I ain't going to gonna jump the gun, either. But go I ahead. want I y'all to reward gun, this but brother. I promise you, he, he getting ready. He going to get rewarded. And a woman be a damn... Anyway, I already gave it up. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, Elder. Man, that brother's he good. He good. He good brother. That brother heart is in the right place. You yeah. don't meet too many Israelites like that. Yeah, he you good don't. brother, man. He, you just uh, don't. he out there on the road and uh, he getting after it. And, and mind uh, you, people don't know his background. He uh-uh. used to be MGTOW mm-hmm. men going their own way. Yeah, to hell with yeah. women. The hell with this world. Yeah. This shit ain't working. Yeah. We ain't doing this no more. I'm going about me, yeah. myself, and I. I'm invested in me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now he 100% percent invested but in yeah. Israel. Oh, yeah. He all about he all about the land, whatever we got to do to build it up. What'd you hear uh, this, though? What'd you hear this? He's, he's, uh, he bought the mission, man. And, uh, you know, when he when I first, we, we, this is one of the brothers we got out of debt. I said... How much debt you got? He told us how much debt he got. We said, we got you. Oh, see, that's another story right there. I said, we got you. So how many of y'all, your damn elders, your preachers, your teachers and stuff, is going to, you know, you've got close relationship with a faithful brother. Yeah. How many many of your leaders are going to ask him personal questions like how much debt you got? And then he tells you, and then you turn around and y'all pay it off for him. So you this, people don't know what the hell Israel no. really is. Uh-oh. Y'all don't know what Israel really is. Shut Uh-oh. the hell up, man. So, yeah, so, boy, you some of you people, I'm telling y'all, you false prophets out there, and one of you done made a damn false prophecy against me. November the 12th, I'm going to come looking for your ass. Mm. And you fortunate we in the United States of America, because we wasn't in the United States of America. When I come looking for your ass, I come to kill your ass. Mm. That's real Israel. Well, you fortunate we are in America to where the only thing your ass get is rebuke and just shame. That's it. That's all you get. But I promise you, if we was outside of this damn country and we was in our own land, you made a promise you like that and that shit didn't come to pass, I would be the one to damn hold your damn head and stick a damn knife to your throat. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't get oh, that. Man. I apparently had to get that. Oh, you good? That's order. Yeah, you That's good. Order. I you promise good. I would, and I would sleep good at night, just like yeah. I would kill a damn deer. Yeah, hallelujah. Y'all be so, <laughs> you know, brother Josiah, he he he, um, he sacrifices job, being out there. Elliot sacrifices being out there. Brother Jason, he sacrificed while being out there. Brother Elliot, you know, he, he came. He had a little debt. Now, mind you, it's not like he couldn't get out of debt. He had a job. He could. He, he worked, but but he, y'all expedited. But we, he came to be a part of us, and he wanted to get jumped in. I say y'all, brother Elliot, want to get jumped in, so he came to be a part of us. He proved and, too. Yeah, so he he moved in with us. And uh, the brother literally slept on a cot, slept on the floor. Shit. I mean, sounds like a walled off yeah, story to me. Straight up, just you I'll know, do it. yeah, had a nice little chair, had a little computer, whatever. We told him to quit his job. Uh, I said, I said, so for the next six months, what you gonna do is I said, stop. So I let him hold back. I said, hey man, hold back the funds. It ain't no different than if he gave it all, right? And go. I gave it right back. So I said, I said, listen, when you get paid, I just want you to pay th- these two bills, and then I want you to give the rest. Because what we're gonna do is we need to say we, we had something to save money for. We're trying to do something on the community at the time. So I told him to stop paying on your debt, Elliot. Stop paying six, seven, eight hundred dollars to your debt every two weeks. Right. And I want you to give it all to me. Yeah. Oh, y'all, I, gonna, y'all gonna be able to cut that damn interest down yeah. big time and shit. Because, I, but, yeah. but I told him stop paying your yeah. debt. Just pay the minimum. That's all. But for like four months. Yeah. You don't think that did something to his spirit initially? But he oh, didn't. Yeah, yeah. He didn't bite. Because he, he got said, a trust. But he didn't bite. He did not bite. He did not kick back. He said, "I got you, L. Whatever you need." He gave it all. But once we That's got the test, but, but once after four months, and we got back on his debt, yeah, it was knocked out in like two months. Boom, That's boom. The test though, it was that, gone. That's the test. Then 
once we paid his debt off, guess what we did then? I, we sent him to school to get a CDL. We paid for it off. And that's three, four thousand dollars by itself. Four thousand dollars. See what I'm saying? Four thousand dollars. We just ain't going to get a CDL. Go get CDL, mm -hmm. man. That's every time you mention CDL yeah. from a brother, that's four yeah. damn smackaroo. At least. Damn well, well let me not say at least. It could be less. It depends on where you go. But her, we sent Kenny to school, got his CDL. That's but, not a four grand. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to tell you about Elliot. We sent him to school, he got a CDL, and he started driving for us. And he was out there on the road. Mind you, it's a MGTOW brother. And uh, and he said to me one day earlier this year, and Elliot, he don't care for this stuff to be out. This is just in my heart for him because I love him. And, but this is, I, I, you need this kind of heart. He was already obedient and holding off, paying off what is going to benefit him alone. Mm. But now we did it for him, and now we, we're, we're investing in him in order that he's able to uh, help meet the needs of the community you know, I'm glad and of the here. business. You know, I'm glad you're right? here today because this is stuff that people need to hear. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? So, so now he's working all this time. My Jim Mictar brother, he's content. He don't ask for much. He's out there. He saves money. He 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 survives on very little. And he even saves the money that he even get. Exactly. He saves <laughs> the money that, that he even sucks. gets. That's discipline. Yes. yes. And now, so it's earlier this year. He called me up. And we some just of you said, assholes been out there. I I don't spend all. I need some yeah. more money. I need yeah. this, and I'm asking for everything, and I want more. Yeah. You damn greedy ass. Short. Short. Let me stop. Us. Can't I'm can't. Sorry, no man. foresight. I'm sorry. So man. anyway, so his brother hits me up. And we'll, I maybe I called him. I can't remember, but he said it's time. And I'm like, huh? He said, yeah, I think it's time for the shot. Mm -hmm. So a midtown brother didn't want nothing to do with women. Now he's he's all caught up in Israel doing his thing with us and helping benefit the the, the assembly. Now he says it's time for. I said, all right, cool, brother. Now mind, this is years, years of sacrifice, by. years, years of service, by. years of commitment, years of dedication, years, years not even concern. And this brother ain't a spring chicken. No. He's in his late 30s. He's 35. 34, 35. So, late 30s. Yeah, mid 30s. Mid 30s. So. Damn, I remember that age. You remember so that he age? said, it's time. I said, all right, fine. And uh, I said, I That's got 20 you. 20 years ago for me, man. Now, mind you, I don't know how many other brothers do this. He ain't looking. No, no. He ain't looking. He waiting for yeah, us. Exactly. He, whatever you see Because fit. a woman, and I'm going to say this too. A woman mm -hmm. When he says it's time, it's time. But the problem is this. It's finding a woman that is worthy of him, of that kind of man. Yes. I don't meet too many. Most women in this generation are pieces of shit. They yeah. trash. You're right. They're, no, serious. No, you're right. The only way, I'm serious, the only, even at that, even if you get a virgin, it's still dismal. Yeah. It's still dismal, man. I mean, I'm not saying she has to be a virgin. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. If a woman gets that kind of man, yeah. Damn, I follow we, you. We I follow. Gotta, we gotta, we gotta fed her. But, 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 but let me, but let me, let me, let me show you him. this. But let me show you this. <laughs> He's he waiting on. He said, man, whatever, whatever's out there, man, look out for me. Got you. Faithful as brothers, all I could be. So I said, hey, start holding back a bride price. Yeah. I gave him a number. Yeah. He starts holding it back. Mind you, he already saves. Oh, he's going to do it. He already saved with the little that he I gets. know. I believe I get it. So I said, keep this extra. Every week, just keep this extra. Time goes by. You know, we've been buying all kinds of stuff, material. And so. And Lord, believe me. I, I know. I see y'all. I'll be marveling. No, I came. I'm like, man, we did shit like that? I came Boy, on. Boy, y'all be doing it, Elder. I came on. I got a, I got a trucking group. Call. I got a trucking group. I got a young bloods group. I got, I got a lot of groups. But but right. the idea is for Israel. I'm not doing right. none of this crap we know, for we me. Know, we know. All right. So I'm on that group and I'm letting them know what's up because uh, I had a situation with one of But not only that, I had a situation where Brother Ruben had sent me an email. So I was trying to talk about this situation and this brother heard it. Mind you, hey, other people, I got to be, you know, as, as a pastor, you got to be people's therapist and stuff right you gotta be you gotta be a psychiatrist y'all need to send me some old dang offerings no but you gotta be therapist sin offering no 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 but but you're right all the elders all the leaders gotta be therapists psychiatrists and all this kind of stuff we got no degrees but no but we look out and we see how jacked up you are and we gotta maybe come by and see how you're doing 
We got to put our arm around you. We gonna need to call you over to have just a talk with yeah, you. Yeah, we need to be My, giving Elder Doug $500 yeah, an hour. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> I mean, but but they, I'm getting to something with this brother, though. We got to reach out and see how you're doing because we can detect, we discern mm. all these things. And we got to do all... I don't never reach out to Elliot. I never call him. You ain't got to. You know, the thought enters my mind that, damn, I need to call Elliot, man. You ain't got to. It's been a while. That I just brother wanna, responsible. You know how to manage. I, yeah, yeah, I just want, and he manages the spirit. Yeah. Very That's spiritual, brother. And then I say, That man, brother I need was to, serious from day one. Yeah, but I say, I need to call this man. I need to call this brother because I, I just want to call him because he's been out there working hard for us, but it, I get no issues with him, right? But brother Elliot ain't got no entitlement mentality, no. though. No, no, no. He don't have that. No, so, so, we just happened to be on the phone, right? Again, this is recent. I made them videos on our platform. He literally called me up. He been saved for a broad price for, I don't know, a couple of months, maybe two, three I'll months. I'll tell you exactly what. I know what he did. Go ahead. He said, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, <laughs> he said, Elder, I see what you're doing, and I see the community need. Hey, man, if you need this broad price, man, I've been saving, I'll yeah. give it all to you right now. You see what I'm saying? It, it's and it's not about the money per se. It, it but it's the heart it's that the he heart. has that he's willing to do. Well, I'm gonna say something and, right and now. Because, my own self. And because of the heart that he has, I even Ooh. I want it for him even the more so. I want I want straight his straight heart up. desire for him even the more so because there's some men and some women out there. All they will do is want 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 want, and they don't Benefit. look at they don't look at anyone's plight but no themselves. Character. That's it. They're no selfish. Character. They're, they're not unselfish. They, they just selfish. It's all about themselves. But this brother right here, I just had to say that because part of building a community is you need good-hearted people like that. Elliot, I'm going to tell you right now, brother. The ministry is straightway. Automatically. Automatically. You got $10,000, gold, silver, or cash, and you can build on that. For yourself, for your bride price. There you go. So you heard you it, that? Elliot. You, you've got it. Record it, write it down, whatever. It's good. You can take it to the bank. I guarantee it's gold with us. $10,000, We Elliot. gave our word. That's it. It's seven. So, hallelujah. You got ten grand. But. Just with us. Just with the ministry in itself. So, once again. And, I mean, y'all can hear with me. I just love the brother, man. He just. I want the world for him. See what I'm saying? I, I, I want to do for him. But what can I do for you, bro? <laughs> you out there getting it. And I was just on the phone with Josiah this week. I said, what can I do to make things better for you? He told me there's nothing more that I can do. All right? But I... but I, I got I, something I can make some stuff better for Josiah. Okay. I do. All right. Well, Come I'll talk look. to me, Josiah. I'll help you out. All right. I'll you look. ain't going to like it, but I'll help you out. And I love you to death. I really got good character, man. I love that brother. Yeah, but so I don't even probably. I probably, I probably ain't even said, not even a paragraph to him after all these years. Mm -hmm. He's a damn good brother. Yeah, damn good brother. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna play my foot off in your ass, Josiah. I promise you that. Hallelujah. In a good way. Glory to the King. That so, I promise you. So, <laughs> so now, like I said, so we built the truck business 2019. I'm still on the story. I just had to take a detour because of the brothers we got in it. And my loud mouth running. Hallelujah. But <laughs> at the end of the day, we did that. And these are the type of character. Oh, if I can have 10, listen, I'll be honest. I'm com I'm comfortable with getting 10 more trucks if we got 10 more Elliots. That's what I'm saying. If I got 10 more of me. You yeah. can turn around and take, and you can make a hell of a lot more with less people than you can with 100 damn people. You need a heart like that. Man. You need you need grit like what he got. Ellie, you, we got you. You yeah. hear what I'm saying? We got you. You need the mindset and the heart that this young brother got. The man. problem is, who in the hell are you going to find that's a Judith in this generation that's going to be ready for a brother like that? Yeah. Because you know the brother's going to take care of responsibility. Yeah. Go ahead, Ellie. Yeah. So, hallelujah. So, this is community, though. You see, so you got men set up to have hearts for you men, the, the ones that are under you, you know, I, I, I have I hearts, I have hearts, I have a heart for the men that are under me, and I see, I see their grit, I see their worth ethic, and their labor I, see, of love. I see their labor of love, I mm -hmm. see their pride, I see yeah. their jealousy, I, I see, you know, you see all this stuff, you see when they got problems, you see when they don't have problems, you see who comes to you, 
You see who don't come to you? And you, you, you see, watch these assholes jump the gun. Yeah, you, you and see. Everybody just got to go sow their damn oaks yeah. and stuff. But you watch these yeah. people and, and, pacing. And you see these wicked sisters. You see it all. As a leader, don't you see started. this stuff. You see these wicked ass women. Though, yeah. But you see all these wicked sisters under you. You see a righteous sister under you. You see these. You see it all. And this is the iron sharpen iron in a community. You follow what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. And so we did the company in 2019. All we did on the land 2019 was build a deck that everybody congregate. Say it reminds me of Straightway. Y'all had y'all y'all had was dining hall. Well, guess what? Everybody was in the dining hall. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, y'all did the pavilion. Everybody did the pavilion. You did, did a deck. Everybody on the deck. It just kind of gets you know people they congregate to the new thing. Mm -hmm. So all we did in that that year was a deck. 2020, uh, we started building again later in the year, and we're literally the only other community. George is the set, the other one now, but we're the only ones that dug a dug a trench, port footers, did a foundation, and laid block buildings. We're literally the only other community that done that. And George was the one to do it this year. Uh, but the yeah, idea is, yeah. But the idea is, is that I watched, and I do. That's it. You know, I don't have to recreate the will or anything like that. All I'm gonna do is take away that which is good that I see that can apply to us, and we're young men that can get it done. So when Pastor talks about him and Teacher Shane and Elder Becker and Deacon Bell, see, I can say the same thing about myself, Greg, Bro, Deacon Rich. Gorman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Deacon Gorman and uh, Bro Rich is up here as well. But I can say the same thing with me, Greg, Deacon, T, and Des. And I can say that because these men you got were, a nucleus. Yeah, well, that us us five five right there. We was all in the, the same room the day that I said, hey, man, we made a mistake by purchasing that 20 acres in Oklahoma. Yeah, and I said, ain't no big deal. I'm about to Live put, and let learn. Yeah, I said, I'm about to put that. Y'all know I let that go, too. Yeah, yeah I remember. <laughs> well, I, remember. I did let that go ahead. Yeah, well, you kind of just let us do it because I was in a, I'm trying mm -hmm. to just get something going. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm trying to do something. You see what I mean? And Pastor don't, he don't overlord no one. He don't micromanage. So he didn't say nothing to me. He just, all right, great. Oh, and, wisdom now because... Uh, let me let me say this. A lot of times, there's no wisdom and experience like experience. Yeah, real talk. Yes. I didn't talk to you all day long. Y'all got these analytical minds. Y'all smart. Y'all have a lot smarter than I am. You understand know I me? Mean? I just have wisdom. You I mean. understand know I me? Mean? And uh, I mean, when people are amb ambitious, rambunctious, I was you ambitious. Know what I, mean? I was ambitious. All of that stuff, man. You can only say so much, go so far. So you have to let people and be willing for people to get their stripes. He let me get a stripe. He let us get a And it's stripe. painful for me too because we have to sit and endure and watch it because we're wasting time. Yeah. But we're not wasting time. Yeah. So we did that. And these four men were in a room the day that I said. And But mind you, as a, as a head, as a head of an assembly, I was willing to say, hey, y'all, I made a bad call. You know, and as sometimes as a, as a head of you gotta be, you know, we're gonna make mistakes. You are, you know, yeah, it is what it is. But this is what makes me so mad. With well, the girl brothers. would tell you straight up out when she wouldn't listen to me, you know, you know, all women out there act mm -hmm. like they submitted, but they really ain't submitted yeah. to them. I would leave her to herself, yeah, I would. I didn't give a damn if he even destroyed her, yeah. Now, I said in figure of speech, I did give a damn, mm -hmm. but. I had to go there because their spirit was so damn strong. Yeah. If you understand what I mean. I understand. I understand. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you got to know how. What's that damn song by willingness? Know when to hold them. Know when, know to, when to fold them. Yeah. Know when to walk away and know when to run. Yeah. You better count your money when you're sitting at the table. I know some of the songs. That's old. I mean, Before my time. you got to know when. And yeah. most people ain't even got that wisdom today because everything in this generation is catered to. Everything is given to you. Yeah. You have so many benefits. You have so many entitlements. You you, you miss out on the growth and the pain factor. It's like the last video you just did. Yeah. Deacon Gorman said this on that on that thing that we, on that 20 acres that we bought. He said that was the best mistake we ever made. It is. He tells me that. Oh. Look at the wisdom come from it, though. <laughs> he said, man, that was the best mistake we ever made in our life, man. We lost $10,000, but hey, it is what it is. But so, once again, they was in a room when I said that. And literally, we start living communal from that day going forward to kick ass and get the money up so we could do what we're doing now. And now, all we're doing is doing our best to spread out to really make that dream a reality. 
You know what I mean? That vision and reality now. So with COVID kind of threw a wrench in things. And so we did, we put other things as a priority prior before building dwellings. There you go. I, now I could have went out and got mobile homes. I could have went out and did easy. Did, I could have deal with passive it, but I just didn't want to deal with removing the asses later. I just was right. like, I want to build. And passive was kind of pushing. He was, Hey, let's get more. I'm like, I kept kind of kicking against it in a way. Cause I was like, I really want to build. I really want to build. And, but I'm happy I'm going that direction because I'm really learning a lot right now. But once again, <clears throat> now we're at 2020. We're doing block foundations. We're do I mean, we're getting it in. I mean, <clears throat> that last video I put out on the duplex that we did, oh, there's yeah. so many damn mistakes in that building, man. I know where they at. You don't. Passing no, you them don't. come out. Passing them come out and I see. I come out there and see it. He come out and see. <laughs> but y'all won't see it. Everybody come out there and be like, this is a nice building. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I remember that time I went down to, I remember, <laughs> I remember that time I went down to Georgia. Elder Rufus and them had brother Vernon and they framed up the um, the deck. Mm -hmm. Me and brother James was going down there to do the um, overhang yeah. for that big ass deck. I mean, that was another step, right? Yeah. So we pull up. I remember when me and brother James pulled up like 5-0. <laughs> we did win that police car yeah, at that time. I remember that. <laughs> and we pulled up like 5-0. Jennifer was like, man, I thought Jennifer was getting ready to damn draw on us, though, man. She had that look and that spirit on her face and every damn thing else, man. Yo, <laughs> Rue's doing a good job with her. <laughs> anyway, we pulled up in there. And then when they saw me get out, everything was fine and good. <laughs> I get out there, I take a couple steps to the right, and I said, this damn thing is out of square big time. And they were always looking marveling because apparently somebody had hit something or something. Okay. And it was like, oh, no. I said, this shit is way out of square. Yeah. Just from eye You can just see it. Yeah, I look. So we get there and find out they, that damn thing was more. It was like five and a half ass squishes. That's a lot of square. square. <laughs> like, that's not a shit? little bit. That's and a lot. Like, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> but we got it done. Yes. 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 We got it done. And and they in themselves have grown Yeah. even oh, more so. Yes. yes. So when y'all watch these brothers, man, making a sacrifice, going from one community to the next yes. community to help get it built and stuff, this is in our heart. It pays heart. off. It, it pays does. Off. This is what the book says. You're a benefit to that community, but it's, you're also benefiting yourself from being out there and putting hand in the plow and getting your hands dirty because this is wisdom that you can take with yourself for whenever you get your land. It and this off. is why I, Ron and Steve and them, they always come out. Because they can, they always come here, as you see, during chicken butchering and things of that nature. But they're always coming out there because they know on the 21st, we're building trusses. Yeah. So, I mean, so if you want to come out, let me know. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So, we're going to be, we've never done them before. Tommy Turner did the plans for us. We ain't no dummies. Can't so, say nothing about Tommy. So, so, I mean, we, we, I mean, we're going to, we're going to, this week, all week, I ain't doing nothing. Deacon's doing it. Deacon's going to plan everything out. Yep. And I'm going to come right behind him to check him. That's all I'm going to do to make sure it's right. We already bought all the wood. And once we do one template, we know what we need to do. You guys get there on the 21st. We All we're going to do is slap it together and go stack them outside. And then we're going to order the boom that same week. And we're going to throw them up. That's exactly what we're going to do. We got all the sheathing. We got all the felt for it. Only thing we're missing is the tin. So, but I learned all this from Pastor. Because guess what? We're going to have two roofed. We're gonna have three Roof roofed, roofed structures, yep. and we're gonna have plenty of work in the winter. Yep, plenty of work in the winter. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, hey, to, we yeah. gotta finish the solar house, and then we're gonna finish uh, the duplex, and then we're gonna finish the dining hall, and then we also plan on doing a foundation to do a kitchen and a uh, big ass storage, and then uh, yep. after we do that foundation. I'm gonna work on doing a shower house because that that we got we gotta we, have it. We've put it off way too long. Gotta have it. That should have been the first thing damn thing I did, but I just didn't know plumbing, so I just was kind of iffy to touch it. But anyway, just to finish this up, uh, 2021, y'all see we're where we're at now. We got solar power. I'm learning that at a fast rate. Uh, I'm doing my best to just add. And one thing that I do. Uh, really well. El Rufus commends me on this a lot, but I delegate like hell. Cause you, you at, got to. At the end of the day, I'm one dude, man. You ain't no damn octopus. No, no, no. You I'm, got some yeah. damn arms. And one thing that I'm learning <laughs> is I'm looking a lot like Pastor right now. I mean, it's literally I'm there for the foundation, and mm -hmm. I leave Deacon and Joseph. I mean, man, I'm glad I got that brother, man. I mean, I, 
Believe me, he got to get hit upside the head, Joseph. He's forgetful and stuff, but he's a hard worker. And him with Deacon, they do a lot of the work on the land. And you need bodies on the land. You need boots on the ground. If you ain't got boots on the ground, ain't shit going to move. And that's one thing I've realized. So we got two brothers on land. So some people, I remember JC came out uh, whenever y'all came to help us with that dining hall. Yep. And JC said, man, a lot of your brothers left. I said, somebody got to pay the bills. Somebody got I to. Said, I said, we got to have money somehow. I said, come on, brother. <laughs> I said, now, what you see. Why is your JC saying? Anyway, go Well, ahead. but you know. I you know, believe I get, but, I'm going to get the JC ass tomorrow. I got well, you. I told him this. I said, well, you oh, guys. You got it. I know you got it. All you guys are young. You know, y'all y'all see the end result here in Tennessee. JC, All right. he's like an incredible Hulk. He want to do every damn thing. I got you. I got you. JC, good brother, but he, he's a hard working ass brother too. What I was trying to explain to him was is uh, you know we like I mean literally it's like me and Deacon is like Pastor and, and Elder Becker early on. You see what I'm saying? And that's all we got. It's just us two. And then now that we got Joseph, I chose to keep him off the job. Yeah. Because I, I saw it would have been more of a benefit for that young brother because he's the youngest one we got. It's a benefit for him to be on the land. He does kind of the, the Hulk smash stuff. Yeah. You know, and he kind of, you know, he moves the, the, the all the heavy shit. You know, I just, I mean, we could do it too, but we like to use his young men for their strength. Yeah. So that's, a, so that's what we're at as a community. And it's a sacrifice, but it's a beautiful life, man. We eat together. We do just what Straightway does but here in Tennessee. But can you imagine where y'all going to be at, let's say, if the most high yeah. doesn't come in? Exactly. Be, can you imagine where you're going to be Man, at? Man, hey, I got a vision. By this I mean, time, let me see, 20 years, damn, you and I, we're going to be old as shit. And then you 30 or 40, you're going to be our age. Yeah. And, and you got another whole generation coming up. You can train yeah. them up. Yeah. And Put I plan to. Yeah. That's the plan. I don't and keep ain't on, no on, keep this thing rolling. Ain't no punks gonna be around me, man. I mean, that's why I did the Young Bloods group because at the end of the day, their their mind has to change. It's kind of going back to, you know, uh being uh financially I get I can't remember the exact statement that the young man made, but pretty much I wanted him to have a different mindset because at the end of the day, we're doing these communities now. And these young men, they they I use Brett as a perfect example. I said, I said, That's all right, son right there. I, this perfect example. That's I this, this is exactly what I did. I said, because he wanted to, he asked me how to, I, you know, become, I guess, I said, McNabb is probably the closest thing I could think of. Me and Greg. That's another strong brother. I said, I, well, but well, just. I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to end up doing. I'm getting all, I don't see no shit out of these damn old ass people. Yeah. I'm going to put these young bloods in charge of all these old ass people. Who Sounds are, good. Who are so damn proud. For Sounds good. Arrogant, ain't got no damn lick of wisdom. Yeah. Not, all these young bloods yeah. going to be in charge of every single one of them. And I think that's a wild thing. That one. And, and not only that, but what I'm saying is, I was trying to explain <laughs> to them. Uh, I mean, that's probably the closest thing that I could think of as far as would the world call successful. Yeah, because they look at making money, they look at traveling, they look at jobs that you got yeah. and stuff like that. I said, he's probably the closest thing that I could compare myself to back then. I said, but however, I say what y'all need to think about is look at Brett. And I said, okay, Brett invested in himself. He invested in what he could do with his hands. He's smart. He ain't no dummy, right? But from my understanding, he didn't have a degree. He could go said, anywhere in the world. Yeah. Anywhere in the world. Yeah, and but, make a living. But that's what I'm saying. Easy, exactly. Because he 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 taught himself crafts, right? To to be a benefit to wherever he can go. And he had a teachable spirit. That's what I'm saying. Teachable spirit. So so one and thing he's got a teachable spirit. Exactly. He's speaking the first person. Yes, wow. sir. So so what I was trying to tell them is you could look at Brett more so in their situation because they're 18, they they're 15 to 25 years old. And I said y'all don't need to be seeking to try to get jobs. And I said don't worry about that. You can do businesses. You can uh, uh, add to add talents to yourself, uh, so that that way, whenever you have the opportunity to be brought onto a community, guess what? You could be an asset in that fashion because that young brother was just out here flipping vehicles and stuff like that. Yeah. And then Pastor made an opportunity for him to be on the land, on the and community. he thrived. And and that's what you want. And then and then I asked the question. You know what? And I was talking a whole lot because I was trying to figure out how the question came about. But I said, brother, what are you getting at? Because the only thing I could think of is a wife. I kept thinking, wife, wife, wife. I said, Brett got a wife. And yeah. I said, uh, all the elders and the men and, and the past were able to look out and see the character of a man. And then just what I'm talking about with Ellie, I want that brother to have something. You see what I'm oh, saying? 
You, you see what I mean? You're gonna have something. It ain't gonna be just any old. Damn but thing. I agree. But that's what I'm saying. But you have the, you have the elder. When you sh when you show this type of heart, when you show this type of spirit, you got men that are set up as leaders looking at you. They're gonna look it. out for you. So you don't. We can look out and say now, Brett. Don't. I mean, let's see, hypothetically, we could take Brett. And to, and he can go out there and work and make a living and he he'll do just fine. We can he see that he's responsible. You don't have to sit here and be like, I'm 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old and I came up in the faith and I want to prove that I can, you know, pay yeah, rent. Damn I want to prove this. I want to prove I mean, you ain't gotta prove that. man give us make room for yeah. him, period. Well, but you don't have to prove nothing to us. We we see you out we here. We see you. We see your work that's got here. We're we light see, years ahead of yeah. all these damn buffoons out yeah. here that ain't we, never had the experience exactly. what we got. But we see your responsibility out here on yeah. display before us. We see how hard you are. We see your heart. We see your diligence. We see it all on display before us right now. You ain't gotta go out there and prove shit out no, in the no, world no. for us to see anything you for right. you. Not in the world. So, I mean, so this is what we had as a ministry, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this is what we had as an assembly uh, out there in Kentucky. And this is how, I mean, the iron sharp and iron, I mean, and when it comes to the uh, dealing with each other, we really become a family unit. You know, like I said, the uncomfortable conversations are no longer uncomfortable. We're just talking and we're just keeping it real. We speak man to man. We speak woman to woman. Uh, and if... Things can't get adjudicated one on one. Guess what? Especially with certain, you gotta learn certain situations. You gotta be involved in certain situations. You don't want nothing to do with. Gotcha. You know what I mean? We just have to let it run its course. But I just hit on something before I left the community. I just told a woman. I said, when I get back, I'm dealing with this. Because because I, I told her, I am gonna do it when I get back. I said, I'm gonna deal with this. I said because I move real slow. I, I mean, we, we'll be sitting, joking, oh, yeah. laughing, and carrying on, and you know, on Sabbath, all of a sudden, Slow Sabbath around. comes. Slow. Yeah. Next thing you know, first day comes up. I'm like, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Justin, right? uh, hey, Justin, get your wife Sarah and come over here. Yes. And then we go sit down, and all of a sudden, we go in. We El going in. Elder Rufus said it best. He came up here. You hugged. Hey, bro, that blood. Good to see you. We're gonna get that spirit today. You I mean, that was the perfect example. We can sit on stuff for a long time, but when we get to it, we're going to get to it. And that's as plain and simple as it's going to be. You're supposed to be only speaking about 10 or 15 minutes. You are, you are I didn't know. for a whole damn hour. Hallelujah. You want me to get up? No, you're good. Okay, all right. So, I think you're doing good. I'm good over here. So, I mean. I just thought I'd remind you for Justin's sake. <laughs> hallelujah. Go to the king. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, there's a, I mean, I do, I, I mean, I, good. I did this on Skype for years and years and years. I mean, uh, well, thanks for talking. We still talk on the land to this day, you know, every sixth day, every Friday night. That's what we do. But um, this is what we had as an assembly. But right now, my main focus right now is we need to cut out all the murmuring. We need to cut out all the complaining. Yes. See, you can cut out all the murmuring and the complaining. Yes. We can get somewhere. Definitely. You see what I'm saying? We can get somewhere. You, yes. you don't need to worry about... Uh, you know, you stop comparing your situations to other people's situations. Yes. You can't do nice. that. They're where they're at. Yes. You're where you're at. And if you be content in where you're at, yes. you know, like you hear us talking about Ellie. Now, Ellie probably had no idea this was coming. I didn't know. I had no idea this shit was coming. I didn't know I was going to bring this young brother up. I'm sitting here talking about community and how we came together and how we built this thing and how we're still building. You see what I mean? Uh, but now he clearly knows my heart is for him. And now the whole ministry knows my heart is for him. You see what I'm saying? But my heart is for all my brothers. My heart is for all my sisters. As long as it, it, the bad thing is, man, the worst thing you could do is, and I, I, I hate, I hate to put it like this, but you know, in the word it talks about us not, you know, being grieved, right? Because we still got to give a testimony of you at the end of the day. And so it, it's a really bad thing when true, true. we're trusting you, we're yeah. believing in you, you're coming to us and you're telling us your desires and what you want to do. And, you know, we're, you know, we're making an agreement on how this, whatever it is going to go, whether it is you find a wife, you want to be saddled up with a husband, uh, uh, your oversight of the greenhouse, your oversight of the garden, or your oversight of whatever, or wh whatever the case may be, or how your family's going to function. And all of a sudden, I catch wind that you're going totally contrary of it. Now I don't look out for you no more. You know what I mean? Because you can't be trusted in that area. Now, that's pretty bad for you. And uh, I'm all about choking the devil out on the community. 
I want to make it to where you ain't got nowhere to run. But be, I, I want. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to force you to be righteous. I'm trying to force you to be uh, to walk upright. Is what I'm trying to do. And uh, you know, sometimes you got a lot of people that murmur, complain, or slander, whatever the case may be. But that had is one person that they can go to. And this is what I'm getting at. You got this one person you can go to. You can vent all your bullshit to, and they're trash can for all your, your nonsense, right? Well, I want to get to that person that you that, that that is a trash can for you to hear all the nonsense that you talk. You know why? Because that person needs to know that they don't need to accept that comp, that, that 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 trash anymore. You got that right. They no longer need to accept right. the shit that you're saying, because the the. Uh, when they stop accepting it, where else you got to go? See, we're see, 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 at the end of the day, you're going to be forced to make a decision to grow the hell up. Or See, El Rufus, I say this, El, El to be like, <laughs> man, El Rufus, you militant. I'm kind of like, but El to understand where I'm coming no, from. No, El straight up. But he understands where yeah. I'm coming from. He say I'm militant. And yeah. I'm like, listen. Yeah, you ain't militant. But, but this is what I'm getting at. And, you know, you I'm, got I, as I, I want you to tap out. And really what I'm doing is just like the book. We turn you test over. You. We turn you over to the devil for the destruction of your body, right? Because at the end of the day, really, we want you to come back. We want you to repent. We want you to get better. We want you to be perfected, all right? And so this is what I'm trying to do. This is the uh, the vein in which I'm I'm running in, all right? And so if I can stop you uh, from using this next person, see, we all got these little clicks with these little friends, right? And you got these people that you can vent to. You got the people that you can tell all this bullshit to. And if we can stop this person from, from hearing all your BS, right? There then you all you, we, you, you're going to be forced to put up a shut up. And it's basically what I'm getting at. And so I used to use this analogy all the time. You know, like that little hacky sack, the marbles back in the day. And, it, and, and you know, it's in that webbing bag and you just keep squeezing it. That's all I want to do is keep squeezing that sucker until the webbing opens up and the ball <laughs> pops out. You see what I'm saying? I want you to burst. Is what I want you to do, yes, but sir. this is for your perfecting. Yeah, this ain't to destroy you whatsoever at all. This is for your betterment. But if you can't stand the heat, yeah, exactly. Then the you, the ball the means, kitchen. like Pastor will say, the gate swings both, both ways. ways. Period. Point blank. So you can get up on out of here, or you can stay here, take the heat, and get right and get perfect. Humble yourself, and that's a lot. That's another thing that people really lack in. They don't have humility. They don't have humility at all. And now we got this thing where you don't need a shepherd. You don't need an elder. You don't what need a deacon. Pastor, don't talk like that in that video. You don't need me to tell you what to do. That's right? broken. Exactly. Order. <laughs> but no, you do need these people. For the perfecting of the body, for the perfecting of the saints, right? In uh, uh, the book of Ephesians. You know, that, that's what these gifts are for. Right? So, I mean, we're going to exercise our eldership. We're going to exercise our pastorship. We're going to exercise, you know, our headship. It's what we got to do. And the people just got to be willing to submit and just roll with it. You know what I mean? And I promise you, from my understanding, there is no head of fellowship. There is no leader of any community that is trying to destroy you whatsoever at all. Amen. They're doing the best that they could do with what they got. Period. Point blank. And all you got to do is fit in. <clears throat> and a lot of y'all say, well, I don't want to bother them. So then you go to that little friend. There you go. That would just eat it. That would be that trash can for you. Right? And the next thing you know... They're being tempted at the same time because guess what they're going to end up doing? Taking on your offense if, let's say, for instance, I'm talking to one brother, and this one brother's having a hard time, but now all of a sudden he's over here uh, bitching and complaining about me to somebody else, right? And that person's like, oh, Elder's not thinking like that. Man, all you got to do is talk to him. Man, all you got to do is reason with him, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what happens when I go to that guy? Now all of a sudden, well, y'all two, every time y'all get together, y'all can't help but talk about Elder Mitchell. See, that's a problem. You need to be careful when you get on the phone with somebody, it's inevitable that I'm going to end up talking about this one person. That's something you should really look out for. Big time. That's something you should really look out for because you're jacking up your spirit by doing that. Mm. And you're not feeding your soul with anything good. Mm. You know, the word tells us that we got to watch our ear gate, we got to watch our eye gate. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of, a lot of us just put in a lot of filth. So, that's community. That's iron sharpening iron. And uh, the idea is we're learning to actually live with each other. Now, here in Tennessee, it's a little different because everybody kind of has their own dwelling place. I'm a lot like where Rufus is now. We kind of share the same dwelling right now, but we're changing that slowly but surely. You know, surely but surely. So, anyway, I ain't got much else to say. Yo, I'm, I appreciate I'm, it. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty I appreciate good. It. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. Bless y'all. Shabbat shalom.